I'm gonna show you how to get this mask. Now, why would you want this mask? Because it's totally OP. It makes you do more damage when you're near a bleed, which I'll, I'll show you in detail later on in this video. Or to get this mask, you're gonna have to go to the Dynasty Mausoleum. If you don't know how to get Dynasty Mausoleum, you have to two ways. You can defeat Godric, and then go back to this guy, talk to him, go to the Table of Lost Grace, talk to the lady who returned your remembrances and for items, then go find the guy again. I don't have it on the map on this character, but it's like over in this area. There's like an island to swap with a church on it. He'll give you a whole quest line. He'll have you invade other players. He'll have you go and take a cloth, either the Church of Inhibition or use a portal at the Four Belfries in order to get back to the beginning of the game in order to get something uh, cloth covered in blood. Come back to him, then he'll give you an item that is called the... Uh, Pure Blood Knight's Metal that'll take you over to Dynasty Mausoleum. That's the early game way. Late game way is to go over here underneath this place. You can find a guy along a ledge who is disguised as a jar, and he'll give you half of an item. I don't even have the map on this other one, but there's a castle soul up in the snow place uh, with a boss at the top. You get other piece of medallion, you take it to the Grand Lift of Roll, take it to snow place, and over on the left side of the snow place somewhere, there's a portal Dynasty Mausoleum. Now, I, I, that's not really what the purpose of this video is. The purpose of the video is how to get the mask, okay? So, that's just a summary of how to get there. Once you are there, though, there's going to be some NPCs that you're going to fight, invader NPCs that you're going to fight. So, let's start from here. So, up at the Dynasty Mausoleum, starting from the Mausoleum entrance side of Grace, you're going to head over here, go through here, go back into this area, and you're going to go right over here where my death marker is. When you first get in, there's going to be an invasion that you'll have to defeat, and that one will not give you anything. And then you'll have to go through get to another invasion, and that will give you something. So, once you get down here, you can get on your horse, and you're going to follow this ledge. You're just gonna hang out along the wall, keep going along with it. You're in no danger, even with all the crazy noises happening, and all this stuff that's going on. It's not dangerous at all, just fuck, go this way. Just hug the wall, and once you get through here, you'll have your first invasion. It'll make you get off of your horse, a little bit past this tree. There'll be an invader here. Highly recommend taking, just hanging out right in this area with him. So that way he does not uh, aggro the birds onto you or anything like that. But anyway, we're going to head over through here. Jump up onto this. I'm going to sneak my way around here to try to avoid aggroing the bird. And then from this point, you would probably just stare at that bird. Wait for him to turn his back because you don't want this bird joining in on the fight. Or you just go ahead and kill this bird. It's whichever way you want to do it. But either way, once the bird has turned his back, I'm going to head over to here now and get back into this area where it'll trigger an invasion, and then I can hang out back here and fight him without having to fight other things at the same time. Any second now. There he is. All right, and once you defeat the Nameless White Mask in this area, you'll get the full set. The White Mask, War Surgeon Gown, War Surgeon Gloves, and War Surgeon Trousers. The Mask, the White Mask, what it does is it slightly raises attack power when there's a blood loss nearby. So the way that that's going to work is if you proc a blood loss within a certain range of you, then you'll get a buff for I think 10 or 20 seconds that will increase your attack power just in general by I think it was 10%. So let's go ahead and try out the mask. So I've got a blood blade on this character, good enough. So we're gonna see how much damage a normal quick attack does. 58, okay. But now that I've done blood loss, I have the buff. I do 64. So that I think is around, yeah, 10% or so. I'm sure there's a little bit of variance based on some kind of weird variables or something. But yeah, you're looking at around 10% damage increase. All you need, as you see at the top left, I have a buff now up there. And that'll last for like, I think 20 seconds. So I just need a blood loss to proc in front of me or like relatively near me, probably with like 10, within five or 10, 20 meters or something like that. And after that procs, I'm chilling and then I could can I even swap weapons? I wonder if I could swap weapons. I bet I could. It's not my weapon, it's my mask. Yeah, for this one, yeah, especially this one, uh, it doesn't even matter. So I could use a blood weapon to get the buff and then swap to a different weapon and use any other ability that has nothing to do with anything and it'll still do more damage, probably, depending on the ability, depending on the weapon. So that is the white mask. Very, very important item for anyone who ever wants to do bleed builds. Definitely recommend picking that up one last time. That was underground in Dynasty Mausoleum over in this area by fighting an invader NPC called Nameless White Mask.